The Dallas County man is being moved to a federal facility in Washington, D.C. for his role in the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Kyle Young of Redfield is accused of being part of a group that assaulted a police officer. A federal search warrant of Young's home was conducted, which could bring another list of charges. New at 5, KCCI Scott Carpenter is in Redfield with what authorities found. A federal search warrant of Kyle Young's home here in Redfield is where authorities found drug paraphernalia, a digital scale, and several large bags with green plant material inside, which authorities say is consistent with materials used by drug dealers. Neighbors who watch law enforcement search Young's home say it was unsettling. You couldn't hardly even see the house. There was that many people. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Young now faces a number of federal charges. Court documents cited photo evidence of Young and his 16-year-old son entering the tunnel of the Capitol as the Capitol attack unfolded. Moments later, Young allegedly used a strobe light toward the police line and threw a rectangular object at law enforcement. Then the documents allege Young can be seen on Officer Michael Fanone's body camera. Fanone said Young attempted to take his gun. Individuals in the crowd start grabbing for my gun. And at that point, people started chanting, kill him with his own gun. Young's lawyer, William Cutmiss, says there's an important detail to that claim in the newly released affidavit. The footnote said this, uh, although the video seems to be okay, the, the audible portion of the video is indecipherable. So where do they come up with someone, I'm going to kill you? And he adds over his long career, he has seen a number of search warrants get tossed out. The facts that you've probably read in the affidavit or the application itself, it's nonsense. It has nothing to do with the trial in my case. In Redfield, Scott Carpenter, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Young's defense team added that once Young gets to Washington, D.C., he will be appointed an attorney. Now, depending on proceedings, Cutmus may no longer be able to represent Young. Young faces more than 10 federal charges, including acts of physical violence in the Capitol building or grounds and assault on an officer.